Good afternoon guys, it's uh, 3.15 in the afternoon, I've eaten a biscuit for a cookie, chocolate bar, no not chocolate bar, um, whatever you want to call it, cookie biscuit bar, cookie bar, I don't know what they've been called over in the States, and I've got a crumb stuck in the roof of my mouth and I cannot get the bastard out, and it's driving me up the wall at the minute. Anyway. I was uh, over at my friend's flat at around about 8 o'clock this morning, probably a little after actually, by the time I'd taken my pills and whatnot here. Um, we did two runs to the tip, that's all we could do because his mum had other plans. Um, and we emptied the loft. And uh, I loaded one trailer up with my stuff. Apart from the large heavy items, I haven't done those yet. We'll do those during the week. The M fridge, the freezer, the microwave. Toaster, if I decide to have it, I may change my mind and dump it. Um, and there's the PC as well to come out of the cupboard, but... He had to get back to the girlfriends because he's been decorating one of the girls' bedrooms while the um, kids are away for a week. So he wanted to get back and uh, finish that off. I'm not going to boot you off my lap because I've got things to show the lovely people of YouTube. Ugh. My voice disappeared for a second there. Eh? Anyway. I've got that full. I've got another old CRT Panasonic portable TV. I'm going to turn the light on. It's not made a lot of difference, but it helps. Uh, a few bags. There's a couple of pictures downstairs to hang on the wall. I haven't put those up yet. An Xbox 360. Uh, there. Apparently it needs a new hard drive. But apparently it does work. And of course, I'm going to need controllers as well. Okay. Yeah. My friend told me it does work, it just needs a hard drive. So, uh, let's see if I can get that up and running. Hornby scale electric. The only thing I can see that might be missing from this one is the power supply. But Ooh, we've got the cars. Funky looking cars. <laughs> Controllers are there. Depending on the voltage, I might actually have one. Oh, that crumb is doing my head in. Does it actually say on here? 16 volt. That might be a pain. Well, 15 volt one, that might work. I don't have the TV work, it's been in these last three years. Anyway, what have I got in here? I've got a Bosch one. Let's charge the battery. That might be the one I'll give to uh, my stepdad. I don't need two lightweight ones. Uh, some of these air freshener doodars. You put batteries in them and... Uh, they go off automatically. I don't know if any of them actually work or if they need new batteries, but that one was turned off. Got none in it. Let's see 
and I've got the um, little sensors on them. Well, that one's got the little motion sensor on it anyway. Little socket set. Oh, that's a good clock. Nice animal clock. Which, if I remember rightly, if I put batteries where there isn't any batteries, that makes animal sounds on the hour. HDMI cable, you know, a small end to large end. Uh, PlayStation 1 and or 2 cable. Flashlight. So mum can actually keep mine now. We'll put some batteries in that and see if I can get it to work. What do we got? Is that an Xbox adapter? Is it the Xbox adapter? Not the power. Yes, it is. I've got the power supply, so I can at least turn it on and see if we get signal. <laughs> That's good then. What else? Adapters. European adapter. I doubt I'll ever go to Europe, but you never know. It might be useful. Shower gels. Lots of crimbo lights. iPod, I think. Yeah. Another one. USB external CD drive. I just got to have a separate power supply as well. I'll have to I'll probably be a five volt supply. Sony PSP. Decorative sword. Red flashlight that actually has red LEDs in it. If I remember rightly. And I think I've actually got two of those. Some more of these shower gel things. Another flashlight. And... What's this? Oh, just an RCA cable. No, well, that's still not it. There's still something in the bottom. What is it? No, more of them shower gel things. Right, so that's goodie bag one. This one, I've got some more various adapters uh, and CDs. You went through shitloads of CDs. And we've got a, builders, a building sack, one of them ton sacks. That one needs flat at the minute, full of rubbish. <laughs> so, as he was throwing them in, I was just looking at them, and most of them were empty cases that he was throwing out, but. So what do you do with this? Is it meant to be a baseball bat? Yeah, I've got some more Wii stuff. Uh, some Wii games. I've got Zumba. Tiger Woods, Guitar Hero. Boogie. I don't have the microphones though. How cheap a lot of the Nintendo Wii stuff is, I can soon get them. Dream Challenge, Family Trailer. Yeah, right, I can see my family doing that. <laughs> Tennis racket and a golf club. Oh, I see, you put the controller... Yeah, right. <laughs> What's this? A Nintendo DS game. Well, it not look good to me, I don't have a DS. Well, we got some more little covers and things. Is that it? Nope. No cover thing. Still something in here. That's another one of those. It's like a cover for the nunchuck. Well, I'm going to assume from the shape of that that that's meant to be a baseball bat. So, wee stuff. Extension socket. I'm 
manage to nab. I don't know, I might be able to nab a couple more if he wants to get rid of them. Oh. Did I put anything in that one? No. This is actually a whole door that came out of his loft. I think I will keep the actual bag itself as well. I just need to put it down for a minute because I need two hands to open it. Okay. Towels. And some waterproof trousers. And this is mostly full of DVDs, apart from something sweet when I can find it. There it is! No, it isn't. And that's the charger for the drill. It's just a few bits I sucked in on the top. Anyway, so oh, phew, I found it. Oh, I was right. I've got two. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not going to show you it yet. So I'm going to hide that under there. I'm going to leave that one till last. So, screwdriver. Some of these have DVDs in. Some of them I just grabbed for the cases. So there's quite a mix. Some more kitchen knives because they go with what I've got through there. I'm a wash. We've got a Vodafone. I'm not sure what make of phone this one is, but Cybershot. That's an Ericsson then. So I know Sony Ericsson did um, Cybershots. I don't know what model this one is though. Well, it's on Vodafone, so I could put my SIM card in it and use that one. Ah more wee discs. Wondering why they look a bit black and smoky, it's because they came out of uh, the cash factory shop when it blew a fire. And I think, if I remember rightly, it was their um, disc repair machine that went faulty one night. I think it was left on or something and it went faulty in the... Oh. So, not sure that one's going to actually be any good. One's a PlayStation 2. I've got a couple of PS2 games in here. Right. Got Dead Fred. I haven't seen that in years. I'll go through these, and all the DV ones with DVDs, and I'm going to stand up there on that top shelf. I've got Knife Sharpener. More knives. Is that the one? That's the one. That goes with the set. And the tea towel. I'll put those in the next laundry to load. And I think it is just DVDs apart from the old knife. Yeah. Pardon me, and I've got knife sharpener up there as well. A couple of loose discs. But, yeah. Uh, I think the Coupe de Gracie, as they call it, is that. It's a Panasonic camcorder. Optional 64 gigabyte memory card, and I think this has got a 16 memory, 16 megabyte card in it. Let's have a look. Yeah, 16. Does work. Couldn't find the charger for it though. Uh, but I know what the charger for it is somewhere. Maybe I can charge it through the USB port, I don't know. If not, I am fairly certain I'll be able to find a replacement on eBay or something. It is charged, it is ready to use as it is. charger I was actually looking for it is. I had Panasonic written on it, but 
I don't think I had the right connector. Maybe I could get some spare batteries for this as well. There's the batteries. I'll have to eBay the model of it, I think. Yeah, it works absolutely fine, that does. Walk empty case. I think most of them are empty cases. One of them in there has got a disc in. It's that one. Some of them I've already got here. Oh, that's a PS2 game, that one. Soldier of Fortune, I've already got that one. Oh, sorry, Demon. A spare disc is never a bad thing. Some DVDs I've picked up again for the cases, but that's got the disc in, but I don't want that, so. Night Museum. I know that. I've got this kit. Okay. I had the disc in it. Good movie, that one. There's another PS2 game in here. Here it is. Golden Compass. Go over there. Yeah, I'll have to go through all that. Put a plug. And that. Ah! That's what I can do while I'm sat on the floor. Uh, just get the battery off the Bosch. And see if I can charge it. I'll pick the charger up. Bollocks. I actually left the um, drill case at Sean's because it came. I had the case with it as well. I found that in his workshop. Eh, I suppose my stepdad wouldn't want that. Not sure which one I'm going to give up yet, though. I'm going to give up one of them. I don't know which one I'm going to like the best, though, so. making sure I get the battery in round the right way there. It will only go in one way, that's alright then. Green LED is on, I don't know if it changes colour or... But, uh, as soon as I see. Battery contacts are fine. Plug on that and see if that fires up. Oh, I need an iPod cable, that's what I need now. See if either of these old things still work. No. Can't really say I don't like apples anymore, can I? <laughs> I've actually got a few Apple products around the place. Ah, they're alright, I just like picking on them. I suppose I should pick on Microsoft a bit more, just to even things up, though. It's make me laugh, some people. We've got an Easting shop just opened up today in town, right? And someone has put on this post, which is a, about the Easting shop in town. I've got something stuck on my arm and it's shiny. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. Anyway. 
someone's put, I thought it was going to be something better than an, that, than an e-cig shop. Instead, it's another shop not needed in town. I won't be going in there. Well, just because you're not going in there, lady, doesn't mean that A, the shop doesn't, or the town doesn't need the shop. B, it doesn't mean that anyone else isn't going to go in there. I mean, I don't vape. But at the same time, I don't think, you know, that the town doesn't need it just because I don't. Which is the attitude that she's got. I don't use it. We don't need it. I don't use KFC, but does that mean I'm going to think that we don't need it in town? I don't use the pubs, so we don't need them in town. ridiculous what some people come up or come out with. Uh, oh well. Sure if I can get the Xbox working. I've played the Xbox 360 and it's all right. To be honest, I don't see much difference between that and the PlayStations. You know, not that I would get excited that I'd want one over the other. That's just personal opinion, though. <laughs> I know there's people out there who will prefer either a PlayStation over an Xbox or vice versa. Which is fine, you know, we can all. We all have our preferences. Well, so we've got an HDMI cable, aren't I, which I've got. I've got the power supply, so we can actually turn it on and see if it does anything. If it does, and it does just need a replacement hard drive, then I'll buy one, because they're only SATA hard drives. Well, I suppose I'd be better off opening this up and taking it out. The weird thing is, doesn't have the ones that clip on the sides, like the white ones. So is this a later generation Xbox 360? It must be. Either way, it's different. <laughs> right. I have to say, though, it is a nice looking design. I do like the design. What's that for? Expansion slot? Is it an expansion slot for something? Oh no, there's USB ports or something under there. It's hard to do it one handed. I'll get this biscuit crumb out of my roof of my fucking mouth eventually. <sighs> I have to wash my mouth out with soap. I'm swearing a bit too much. Sweet. Right, so I've got DVDs to sort out now. I've got nothing else planned for the rest of the day. I want to go over to Mum's tomorrow, which means I might have to sacrifice that £5 I've got in my pocket for diesel. <laughs> um, and actually, she's got to come up town at some point, because, uh, well, I'm not going to show you, but... Um, I've got her bank card here. <laughs> yes, I do know her PIN number. I know, I'm not going to go and use it. But, uh, she usually sends me in to pay for the fuel, so I take the card with me, and I must have put it in my pocket and forgot about it. I actually did what Mum does to my stepdad. <laughs> she does the same thing. number of times he's gone out to fill the car up with some fuel or something and uh, check his pockets beforehand or his wallet for his card and found that mum's still got it. Okay, yeah, I've actually 147 one to my phone to see if anyone rang while I've been out today and 
mum's number was on the phone, so I rang her back and yeah, she asked about the card. And I went and checked my uh, fleece coat pocket, and there it was. Oh, yep, what can you smell on me jeans? Right, well, I've got two pictures of sort of gothic girls, I suppose you'd call them. Don't know why I'm not really into the gothic scene, but they're, I like the pictures. I don't know why I'm going to hang them yet. Well, I've been thinking of getting rid of the um, notice board in the hallway, and I may hang one there. I may hang one where the squirrel is, if it'll go in that gap. The only other thing I've got on the trailer is like a toy car racetrack thing, which uh, I'll have a look at, but I may go and donate that to charity. I have found out, though, that one of my friends, or one of... Um, how can I put this? <laughs> I'm confusing myself now. My friend's girlfriend has four kids, and one of her sons is as mad about Lego as I am, to the point where my friend has now got to put another shelf up in his room to put the Lego on. Well, he could bring him here... <laughs> <laughs> uh, such an addictive toy even for adults you'd actually be surprised at how many adults are out there that still I suppose play with it we were actually having that discussion the other day on the um, A Falls of Facebook group where someone said uh Lego is aimed at children, but someone pointed out, you know, that they make guns, and they've got those um, little things that do fire, little um, Lego studs and things, and someone said, you know, they've lost that thing, I can't remember what they said now, but I actually said, well, they've actually made operating weapons that actually worked I guess the 1980s whenever the first cannon came out in the pirate sets because um, the cannons did actually fire a little Lego brick I've actually got one <coughs> I've got one of the cannons so uh, yeah the firing of Lego bricks with Lego isn't anything new <laughs> I mean, they've had what they call flick rockets long before the stud shoes they've just come out with. Which is just basically a, a Lego bit of Lego that clips into another bit of Lego and you just flick it with your finger and that just goes bing! <laughs> Hence the term flick rockets. And, uh, but I think, well, if you actually go back, Lego was, you know, for the kids, it was a toy. Because Lego originally made wooden toys in Denmark. They were a wooden toy company before they started the Lego thing. There's, a, there's quite a history to the toy. Although they were not the first ones to invent the interlocking brick. But, uh, these days, I think... Lego has recognised that there's a lot of adults that like to build with it and create with it. So they've now released more complicated sets like the modular sets, which is why I want one, and the um, architecture thing, which is sort of more adult based. Well, actually, they've always marked those as 16 plus. And then you've got the Technic range. Yeah, you get the simple little Technic models, but you get some complicated Technic models as well. So I think they've actually, you know, recognised that adult market there and released a couple of themes to cater for it. But still, most of the themes are aimed at kids. So it is still primarily aimed at kids. Including big kids like me. I'll freely admit that I'm a big kid. <laughs> a big kid that's probably got too many hobbies. I 
think I've got too many gadgets at the minute as well. Right. Top my glass up. Oh, I don't think I actually fell at well I went to bed at about two o'clock. I don't think I actually fell asleep until about three. Some nights I do take a while to drop off. Other nights I just go out like a light. But uh, I do find I don't know if this would apply to someone that is normal, we'll say, but I actually find that with my Asperger syndrome my mind can get busy with thoughts. And sometimes it can get really, really busy. Not bad thoughts, just thoughts. Thinking about thing events from the you know, throughout the day and whatnot and other things, what I'm gonna do tomorrow. And it will just get so busy I just can't drop off. <laughs> it takes me ages. And I actually find the only way I can do it is to actually try and concentrate on one thing. If my mind actually lets me. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's the same for, you know, well, as a lot of Asby, Aspies call them, neurotypical people, normal people, basically. People with a normal functioning brain. Well, I suppose mine does function normally most of the time. The way I've always seen it is I've got a few wires wired differently up there, that's all. And, uh, like I said to Mum the other day, I find, uh, like, where I helped my friend from Friday to Monday, every day, all day, I actually found that by then, I just needed a few days to myself to um, settle back and down because of the, well, because of the anxiety and, you know, I'm still not used to, you know, being around his girlfriend or his mum. I might have known my friend for a good ten years or more, but I've barely ever been around his mother. Or his dad, actually. So, still, you know, unfamiliar things are still a bit It'd be alright if I was just going to his flat. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's annoying because I know um, people like autistic genius Tom. He's excellent. Called me a legend in one of his videos, but I think he's the legend because he uh, really does spread awareness. There we go, my camera's just clicked over. Anyway, he spreads awareness more than I do. But uh, I had thought about it and thought about setting up a channel about autism, but there's actually quite a few out there. And I don't know. Maybe I could. Um... Got a notification on Facebook. I'm not going to drag the video out any that much longer anyway. Uh, I completely forgot what I was going to say. I didn't turn that adapter off, or is it still turned on? I hope I turned off. I've got a phone charger and a socket on the wall over there. I may actually change that socket for the four way one. Nah, I don't need to. I'll leave the three-way up there. It's a bugger because he didn't want to get rid of the six-way. <laughs> I'd have had the six-way extension socket. And uh, for sort of six or seven quid, I might as well buy a brand new one. I think I only need one anyway now. Is it one? Or is it two? One or two. I can get them. I've got so many gadgets now that I want to get work, and I've got the Xbox and the Wii. Plus, I've got the Lego hobby as well. You know, I've got. <laughs> and I have to prioritise. I'm 
and uh, try not to do the, oh I'll get it next time, oh I'll get it next time, oh I'll get it next time. <laughs> that's what I often do and that's why a lot of things um, sit around. I mean, it took me months to get the cable for that um, external Dell um, drive. I've been watching it on, on my eBay for months. Anyway, I've got to find some batteries up for them torches. Let's see if I can get them to work. I can't believe actually chuck things like that out. You should use hold of them. I know at one point he did have um, like a half a dozen of those pink anodized flashlights. Actually, I think I picked one up in his workshop when we were cleaning that out. That's in his workshop stuff somewhere. <laughs> uh, he did throw a Duracell torch out, but that was broken anyway. Otherwise, I would have had it. Cardboard box is any good to the um, Aurora AFX um, slot car track over there. I'll be able to find. I've got a 15 volt adapter that might work on that top one. I'll have to set it up and try it. it. Either is or it isn't. Or maybe the um, if that one below it has still got the adapter, then maybe that one will work. I don't know. I'll have a look. Uh, I want to start playing with that, so I will be making more videos later. But uh, do need to transfer this footage across. And I need to sort out what I've got on the PC before I do that. I'll give that back. We don't know about another 20 minutes on charge or so, and uh, we'll try it. If it work, I'll probably give the Bosch to uh, my stepdad. Because uh, he don't want a big heavy one like that, he wanted a smaller one like that, because he did ask me if I want to sell the Makita, I'm not going to sell it to him. Heck, he's family. Not technically, because him and mum aren't married, but it's just the, you know, I consider him family. I consider him family and I just find it easier to call him stepdad when I'm referring to him. It just makes it... Calling him stepdad makes it easier to refer to, um, to him when I'm, like, talking to you. Uh, I want to connect a USB cable to this and see if it'll charge that way. I don't know if they do, you know, I've never used anything like this. I know my red one doesn't. But, uh, this one I will keep and use for the good videos, you know, when I'm taking things apart and whatnot, where being, you know, a good clear video would help a lot. But for sort of vlogs and not so important videos, I'll just keep using this one or the red one. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to end this video, I think, before I ramble on too much, I'll sort of well, aside from going through the goodie bags, all them CDs as well. All them CDs do have CDs in, there's no empty cases. Uh, but I think between the DVD cases I've brought home and the ones I've already got in the cupboard, I should be able to sort that pile out. And, uh, ah, there's a pile of CDs that I took out of that CD player that my friend wants back, and I can't remember where I've put them. <laughs> um, we're in a pile. They're all stacked together. They might be over here somewhere. What's that top one? Oh, that's a PlayStation game. Who is it? Oh, Need for Speed, Most Wanted. Scouting for Girls. We Spore. I'm quite excited. I've got away! Anyway, I'm going to disappear because I'm 
rambling on again, so thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, I'll talk to you again soon. I'll have no idea why I do that. After every sort of, uh, block of words, I look away from the camera like that. No idea why. Anyway.